Sunday School, September 5th, 2021. We are beginning a series on the first epistle of John, and the topic we'll be dealing with today is being certain of forgiveness, or certain of your salvation. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with God, and yet we're walking in darkness, then we lie. The truth is not in us. The truth is Jesus. And if we're walking in darkness, then Jesus is not in us. Now, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, well, then we have fellowship with him and with one another. Now, to break it down another way, if you're in the light, you're saved. If you're in darkness and that's where you want to be, then you're not saved. And John tells us the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanses us from all sin. I repeat, all sin. Now, it's a sinful world, and we're all sinners. None of us perfect. The problem is, sin is not a politically correct term. You don't hear it much, at least not outside of church. You um, watch your television or talk to people out in the world outside of church, you don't hear sin talked about much because people don't acknowledge that, and they don't want to be told that they're wrong, that they're sinful, they need to change. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. It's a delusion for a human being to say they have no sin. If you say you have no sin, the truth is not in you. Therefore, Jesus is not in you. If we confess our sins, if we confess our sins... He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And once you've been cleaned up, stay out of the mud. Those who say they have not sinned make God out to be a liar. They have rejected God. They've rejected God's word. They have rejected Jesus. Step one in being saved, realize and acknowledge that you are a sinner. Step two, believe on Jesus, confess to Jesus, call upon him to save you. And chapter two of the first epistle of John begins by telling us we have an advocate for us sinners before the throne of Almighty God. Our advocate, of course, is the Son of God, Jesus Christ. He is the propitiation, the sacrifice, the substitute, paying the price for our sins. Our action points, quite simple. If you're not saved, get saved. And if you are saved, share your testimony with someone else. Lord Jesus, we confess to you that we are sinners. And we beg your forgiveness. Forgive us of our trespasses. And so Lord, help us to be the people we're supposed to be. And having called upon you for salvation, to move ahead into the light and bring others into the light as well. In your name we pray. Amen.